With all the different battery manufacturers claiming that their brand is the best, which one really is the best? And also, can you trust dollar store or budget batteries? And how well do they hold up against the name brand batteries? So I'm gonna test that today. Now this here is a, a pack of rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries. And these are all alkalines. These came from Dollar General. Actually, all three came from Dollar General, but this is their in-house brand. And uh, if you don't have a Dollar General near your house or near where you live, I'll explain. It's not exactly a dollar store per se. It's just a general store, um, hence the name, uh, that has dollar in the in in the in the title or in the name. Um, however, the stuff they sell there is fairly cheap, both monetarily and uh, quality. So you know, it's hit or miss. And I'm kind of curious to see how the batteries are because these are half the price of these. These are about two dollars for a pack. Each of these were about four dollars. Um, now, obviously, that's going to vary depending on where you go, but I want to test them against each other. And I've already done a video on these. Um, fully charged to see how well they work and they do run at 2500 milliamp hours. So what I'll be using to test it is just a little something I built. Yes, you can buy battery load testers or constant current sources. Um, however, if I can just build my own, why, why pay for it? I don't need anything flashy. Now, the as you'll see here, I can actually do two different loads. This one, and this battery is actually almost dead. This one is about 160 milliamps. And then if we go over to the high setting, this is about 360 milliamps. So I'm gonna use one battery from each at the low setting and one battery from each at the high setting. And we're gonna run a time lapse on it. And when the voltage goes down to about one, or I'm sorry, when the voltage goes down to about one volt, I'll stop the test, move on to the next battery, and then graph everything and see which one lasts the longest. So here we go. So after seeing the results of the test in both the time lapse and the graphs, it might look like the cheap Dollar General battery failed miserably. In this graph, it's showing that it reached the 1.05 volt mark nearly two hours sooner than its closest rival. In the light load test, it did much better, but still came in last. However, let's zoom out and compare both tests. The Duracell and Energizer name brand batteries actually hold their own. The Duracell doing better in the high load situation and the Energizer and doing better in the light load, but each are fairly close to one another and the difference isn't really that great. So let's talk again about the generic Dollar General battery. Yes, it came in last. In fact, there's a 26% difference between it and the highest performing in the high load test and an 11.4% difference between it and its closest rival. However, here's the thing. It's 50% cheaper. And no, I don't work for Dollar General. I just saw these batteries, you know, sitting on their shelf next to a bunch of name brand batteries and was actually kind of curious how bad they really were. But by this test, they really aren't that bad. Sure, they came in last, but 26% less longevity for 50% less money? That could potentially add up if you use a lot of batteries. Now, one last thing. Do yourself a favor and buy the best of the best when it comes to batteries. If you're, you know, using them for smoke detectors in your home, your life and your home burning down are not worth saving a few dollars. Um, but, you know, for kid toys, uh, you know, cat toys or whatever, things that chew through batteries left and right, these seem like they're perfect for it. They're cheap and they last almost as long. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Like it if it was interesting or helpful. Dislike it if it wasn't. And if you'd like, subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.